Hey guys, I'm Avery here with a new League of Legends video. Today I have for you a Orianna game. Um, on my team is Jungle Fiora, um, played by Lemon Drips, Soraka, Karthus, and Urgot with the new skin that came out today. Um, very cool looking. And then on the enemy team is Misfortune Janna, and then Olaf Maokai Ari. Um, the Fiora player, uh, just happened to be in my last game. Um, we didn't dual queue or anything, but she happened to be in my last game, and then we hit both hit play again, and we got queued up into the same game two times in a row. Pretty cool. Um, he happens to be 1550 ELO though, and have 1400 plus wins. So that's about the skill level we're talking here <laughs> that uh, I'm playing at right now. Uh, my rank stats don't really show you how good I am, but this VR is 1550, uh, the Misfortune has 50, over 1500 wins, someone else on their team was 1500, but yeah, so I'm using Law Replay um, to show this game, and yeah. Uh, we do have a fairly interesting team comp though, originally we were going to do Urgot Soraka bottom, but what ended up happening is I was going to go with Soraka bottom because of the infinite mana and yeah um, our team does balance out fairly well though we have Urgot and Fiora on the hard AD carry side and then Karthus and myself on the hard AP carry side so they can't really build armor or magic resist to counter us too well just uh, just because if they build one way the other side just gonna clobber them um, and their team's just standard sort of team comp aside from the Maokai pick normally he's a jungle but he uh, wasn't this game um, I'm going to be speeding this up quite a bit for you guys, just to make it easier. Uh, the new Urgot skin looking pretty cool. Shoots missiles. Um, and this is my second ever game, Orianna. Orianna is the champion with the high, or er, has very high skill cap, um, if not the highest skill cap of any champion. The only one I could think that could parallel her is Anivia. Um, Cassiopeia is not even close in skill cap, at least. And how did I miss that? God. Um, but yeah, so Orianna, hardest champion in the game, due to the fact that all of her abilities are cast through the ball. So you'll see a lot of noobish mistakes on my part, positioning wise, here. But for a second Orianna game, um, in the end, I did amazing. So you'll see that as the game progresses. Um, now, their lane is. Janna Misfortune. Janna happens to be a super popular pick right now due to the fact that the main supports, uh, Sona Soraka, got nerfed. So she's a very, very common pick. Um, and she's very strong too. Um, one of the top three supports with Sona Soraka due to that shield giving a huge AD buff, but yeah, I'm with Soraka because she just can give me infinite mana and I basically have a permanent blue buff now um, with the patch, and I'm missing so much farm. I'm, as I said, this is my second ever game with Orianna. Um, my last hitting is extremely subpar, and yeah, I, I just overestimate her attack damage a lot, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it, early at least. Uh, first blood going down mid to on our Karthus, unfortunate, because uh, Olaf ganked, but I think he got a little cocky. And yeah. So, uh, Urgot v Maokai. Um, <laughs> we thought Maokai might have been mid, and if he would have been against Karthus, we would have been in a really bad position, because he could never die due to the passive that he has, where he just infinitely heals off spam spells. Um, Urgot isn't much better, but he doesn't cast as many compared to Karthus, at least. So, Our jungler getting killed. Soraka uh, managed to clean that up and grab double buff. I was just sitting here farming. I wasn't really paying attention at the time, which was my bad. Not, uh, not playing to my skill level here so far. But, yeah. Orianna's a very, very fun champion, though. Um really hard to play, but that's what really makes her fun. She's 
just really, really supporty mage. Kind of like Morgana. Um, we're getting a gank here. Soraka with that double buff. Misfortune just flashes. Um, pretty sure nothing's going to come out of this. No. Nobody dies. We take quite a bit of poke, but so do they. So, yeah. Uh, Olaf's camping Karth is mid. He's been doing that the entire game. So annoying. Um, Fiora really just needs to go back. There's no point in her sticking there. <laughs> Karth is picking up a kill on Olaf because he just walked into tower for no reason whatsoever. That was that was cool. I didn't see that in the other or when I was playing this, so. Yeah, as you can see, my Ariana skills are pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but I do know how to use the shield to grab some stuff. Yeah. Um, Ariana's one of those champions that before you play her, you need to know absolutely everything, like how her shield flies back super quickly and does damage. Um, it's ridiculously useful and our Karthus is singing a song <laughs> uh, God. Right, I'm gonna fast forward um, Fiora we're gonna go try to take their blue Olaf coming in um, she's gonna get it but she's probably gonna die for it um, nope we managed to get Olaf, but Ari's coming down and I'm pretty sure, yeah, we lost the blue to Miss Fortune, which is not a good person to lose the blue to. Um, Soraka, I don't know what she's doing here. Oof. There was double buff to Ari, I think. She had it still, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure she did. Alright, so that was a big mistake on our team's part there. Um, shouldn't have gone for the blue, really. Mid, Karth is getting camped. Jeez, it's not nice. Uh, Fior managing to clean up Olaf, though. Not much health, but... Yeah. Um, Urgot doing good against Maokai. Uh, yeah, now, uh, Misfortune has blue buffs, so that's not too good for us with her infinite cues, but I don't think she abused it too well. Or used it too well. Using the shield to pick up some extra farm. Urgot getting ganked. Uh, not good for him. He's gonna swap Ari. Get some armor, I guess. Almost killer, two on one, but not quite. Uh, it looks like Karth is gonna go clean that up. Um, I just hit six. I'm gonna make something happen with my ult here. Yeah, Olaf is camping mid lane. Like, there he is again. And then Ari is camping top lane, sort of. But yeah. So we're just going to keep them at tower, make their lives harder. Because Olaf will not come down here. And we know that because he's getting kills elsewhere. So. Not going to bother. Um, She hurts really bad. <laughs> yeah rid of 300 on me. Olaf's over there. Uh, oh, we, I think we catch him. She smites the wraith. Oh, not good. Her ult makes her immune to ignite, so that helped up. Um, what happens here? Car I see Karth is ulting, so I try to go in. But I don't have enough damage because I'm Oriana. <laughs> if my W was off cooldown there, I probably could have killed her. But nope. Close, but not quite. I'm maxing Q first, by the way, for those of you wondering. And then W. Yeah, as I said, Soraka infinite mana. Really helpful for Oriana. Oh, Ari ganking. Not good, not good. I flash, shield myself, just get to tower. Yeah. Uh, no, no kill on misfortune there. Oh, oh, almost died there. 
Soraka ults like three minutes late. Uh, we find an Olaf in the bush. Exhaust him. For some reason, he doesn't know how to use his ult, or it's off cooldown or something. Really low. Ah, uh, come on. That's never good. <laughs> they all got away, as did we, but I don't like it when that happens. Sorry, yeah. This just sucks. Uh, we're gonna go for Dragon here. For some reason, I didn't notice this, but the minion was following me, and that's never good. Um, I get pretty bad positioning on my ball there, but I'm gonna move it in the middle of them. Ult, get all three of them, run out of mana so I can't W, and I would have killed her, but I couldn't, so whatever. That was a really good ult, though. I caught all three of them. Um, Karth is dying to misfortune. I'm pretty sure we got that dragon, though. So, that's fine. Yeah, this is my second Oriana game, so I don't have too many good ults to show for. <laughs> uh, that one was great, though. But yeah, Oriana is a support mage, so she doesn't have that much damage, but she can burst people down really hard with her ultimate, like Morgana. Um, it's just, she's much harder to play, and you need a lot of team coordination with her in order to get stuff done. Kinda like Galio. Um, she's not the best solo queue champion, though, base. Um, because of the fact that you need really good coordination to use her. Um, yeah, we're gonna head mid. I think we can get some off on Ari here. Um, Karthus dies, but that causes them to overextend. Unfortunately, I didn't get the assist there. I ult, hit my W, barely saving that kill. Um, that was a pretty good ult, too. <laughs> Pulled him back in just enough time. So, just gonna take this tower. Go stop Misfortune. Ooh, whoops. Go stop Misfortune from taking the tower. Nothing's gonna come out of that, though, because she's a little intelligent. Give her more credit than... <laughs> Give her a little too little credit eh. um, but we have Urgot down here so we're just gonna try to push their tower down for some reason Urgot doesn't swap her but uh, Maokai's coming in so it's actually a pretty good thing that he didn't cause that could've gotten really bad and then Ari's down here so now there's four people down here um, we need all five to come down probably five cause yeah five people are down here now um, not 100% sure on Maokai's positioning, but, oh, Olaf, I mean, Olaf's right there. Okay. Yeah, just getting some decent, decent poke off using the Urgot. Um, one of the best champions at that. Karthus lands a great wall, but we don't engage on that. Um, I, for one, couldn't because my ult wasn't up at the time, but, uh, now that it is, we can make something happen here. Uh, Maokai's gonna super aggressive flash... Um, take out the Soraka, which is not good, but they're just going to overextend. Misfortune getting really low, but the Urgot missile somehow hitting her in the brush. I uh, get a really good W, Q to W off. Um, and then a really good Q, and then we just auto-attack them down. Urgot swaps Ari. I try to flash ignite Maokai, but I didn't have enough range on it, so I just ignite Ari. And that's a one for four team fight. We did lose Soraka there, so. And now shields. Not too sure why, but. Eh. Alright, so we take this tower. That was a really good team fight, though. They really overextended after taking a ton of poke from Urgot and me, so. They couldn't uh, handle it. Alright, so I pick up my needlessly large rod because I am AP and I do need that. I also have my boots. So. 
Uh, I saw Miss Fortune down here, so I was going to go to try to stop her from pushing. But she ends up going towards mid, it looks like. So I'm just going to push this wave as fast as possible and get out of here. Yeah, so all five of them are mid. That's not good. Uh, Urigat's in a really bad spot. He's going to swap someone with his ridiculously awesome particle animations, but die. Uh, I noticed Dragon's up. Ping it. Uh, we're in no position to take it right now, though, I don't think so. They're probably going to go for it. And yeah, there. Um, Garth is just barely living. I could have ulted there and tried to kill her, but it would have been a waste because I know that they're going for a dragon right now. So I'm just going to lob my ball over and try to zone them out from doing it um, as much as I can. Uh, which does work for some time. But then I'm going to get a little overzealous and realize that no one's behind me and died point uh, aimlessly. Um, if, say, everyone would have backed me up there, um, what would have happened is we probably would have killed most of them. But no one was in position, so I sh really shouldn't have gone in. My bad. Uh, that's probably the only mistake. I or, yeah, that's about the only gigantic mistake that I make throughout that game. Uh, this game, yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to respawn. Uh, I had to sit here for quite a bit of gold, but we're going to go steal their blue, manage to kill them, and sort of get out of there. We basically two on five to there and one. Uh, Karthus, in the meantime, was split pushing top, it looks like. Um, yeah, gonna try to grab blue buff, but Karthus wants it more, so I'm just gonna give him it. Um, probably a bad idea in hindsight, because Karthus just, does, just keeps dying all the time, but, I mean, he's three and seven. Not the best person to get blue to. But whatever. Uh Maokai flashing on to me. Um I have to ult him to peel him off, but uh once he does, he can just clean up that try to clean up this team fight. Um Janna zoning our Fiora not a good place. Uh Karth is ult, so now they're really low. Urgot picking up Maokai, Urgot swapping Ari. Um I managed to pick up the kill on Ari there. Uh, fairly good team fight. One, four, three. Um, near flawless. Uh, I, however, I did get caught, but I was able to peel him off really, really well with my ult. So, and it wasn't that detrimental me using my ult there. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some damage onto this tower. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to take it here. Yeah, not gonna happen. Um, so right now we just need to run. There's no point in staying. Yeah, so I'll just get out of here, go buy my death cap. And a pink for Baron. Uh, it's 25 minutes, it's around time to start doing Baron. So, yeah, they're all around here. I'm gonna exchange some poke. Um, drop a ward. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Urgot just hard stacking armor pen. Jeez. Yeah, that's how you basically make it to late game with Urgot. Just stack armor pen. Not that much this early, but still, it's pretty good on Urgot armor pen. Just because his Q can still chip away the whole game. Uh, Maokai engaging. Thinks Soraka was alone. Apparently he doesn't have the uh, ability to back off. I ult there, grab his fortune, but no one's there to help, unfortunately. Um, and then Olaf is trying to chase Soraka, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, <laughs> it's not like he could have taken her down that easy, but Urgot getting caught in the same position again. Jeez, from earlier. But we managed to peel him off. Um, we 
did stop them from doing Baron by killing Maokai, uh, which was probably one of the dumbest engages ever. Um, from the end of this game, though, I remember checking. Uh, Olaf was by far the lowest elo. I think he was like two wins, or Maokai, two wins, 12 something losses. I don't know. But really low elo, really low win loss, so that's probably why he engaged on crap like that. Um, but yeah, right now we're just biding our time until we can go do Baron. Um, we just got Dragon, so... We know they can't sneak a Baron with us here. So we're just gonna try to assert dominance. Steal their blue. Um, they're gonna engage on us without my ult, which is not good, and Urgot just goes down. Karathus ults. I get my ult up just in time to clean up. Um, almost perfect timing. Due to... Oh, misfortune flashes. Doesn't get her. Um, and we just went one for four. Already dead. Uh, would've been a ace, but misfortune managed the flash, so we're like, okay, they're all dead. Let's go do Baron. Um, and obviously we go take Baron out. We have fairly quick timing because we have a Karthus, so... I'm just gonna take that down. Go back and buy. Uh, I'm gonna get my blue buff finally. Thank God. <laughs> or Oriana can clear blue fairly quickly with her passive, so it's very nice. So now I have blue and Baron, and I can stomp people. Uh, right now I'm gonna go for a Rylize, I believe. Um, yeah, Rylize. The giant's belt. Um, it's good on Oriana because you want to be able to cast a lot of spells er, and stay alive for the survivability. But I should have gotten a Rod of Ages for the mana. Um, then again, I don't think I needed it because we had a our uh, Soraka supporting us. But Karthus and I decided to go in on a really bad fight there. He just dies. Glad he didn't get that blue. <laughs> um, yeah, so he just goes and then suicides. And wastes his ult. Yeah, his his uh, ult was... He activated it before he died, so it didn't do anything. They just killed him out of it. Unfortunate, but... Uh, I'm going to sell Doran's and get a Blasting Wand. Um, but we think we can push down. We have Baron. Um... Soraka getting chased out, but she's cool. So, she's getting Woda, looks like. Uh, Olaf chunking him quite a bit with his giant health. <laughs> Mail it, going for Frozen, yeah, and Warmog. So, that's tanky, Olaf. Yeah. See, since we're so balanced damage wise, they can't really build armor or magic resist, so they have to build health. Uh, all five of us are here, though, so we're like, engage, engage. Uh, poking at Ari a lot. Urgot's just ridiculous. For some reason, Mao engages on Karthus alone. Uh, I ult, or flash ult, try to pick up Ari. Can't quite do it, but, uh, we still managed to pick her up with Urgot's passive. I believe that, the, or his, the damage on his E. Meanwhile, Misfortune was trying to run, and Fiora said no. So, yeah. Now we went 0 and 3. Feel like it's a good time to push in. We have Baron. We have everything we need. So we're just gonna push in. Um, Urgot flash swap Janna. Amazing. Uh, Karth is picking up that kill somehow. Yeah. So. It Looks like this is about where the game ends. Um, Fiora's ridiculously good at pushing towers. Four of them are still down. Um, we're going to try to zone Olaf from stopping us. Uh, my ult up in eight seconds. We think we can make something happen here. Um, on Maokai, preferably. Or at Olaf, that works too. Um, yeah, another kill. And then my ult comes up. We take Maokai out. Uh... Yeah, and then <laughs> Misfortune, too. Or God, OP. 
But yeah, that's that's game. Um, I put up the end stat screen right here and go from there. Alright, so the final game screen here. Um, I was 4-1-17. The only death was from that giant slip up in the mid game where I just tried to stop them dragging solo. Wasn't the best idea, but eh. Um, so the rest of my team, Karthus, 5-8-16. That's sort of expected to Karthus. Maybe a little bit fewer on the deaths, more on the kills. But eh. Urga totally stomped 12-4-7. Uh, most minions on both teams. The farm on this game was just terrible. I couldn't farm because I haven't ever played Oriana. Yes, I'm using that excuse. Um, Fiora, 6 4 13. Uh, Guardian Angels, really well done. Uh, Soraka, I almost had that Woda. Not quite, but eh. Uh, and then the other team, Maokai with his suicidal tendencies, 0, 5 and 10. Uh, Olaf, 8, 10, and 5. He just got beat up, really. Same with Ari. And then Misfortune, 4, 5, 4. Second most creeped by, less than t or by 2. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.